Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay. Now, this is something that I'm excited. Number one, see, I'm smiling because I'm watching television and I'm seeing more and more shows about Christians. So I'm looking at the Game Show Network. They have a new show called It Takes a Church. I'm, you know, basically the church is hooking up folks, the single folks in the church, because you know you can't be too old and single at a church. Everybody's like, well, baby, when you gonna get married? You're such a nice young lady. And I mean, you're a cute little thing. I don't understand it. You know, or it could be a young man. Well, brother, I don't understand what you're doing to these ladies you know so I think it's a really great show we also have oxygen network where they are uh, basically highlighting preachers in the city of LA and it has been such a huge success that they're actually going from state to state like Detroit I think they're going to Chicago um, Texas or something like that so I was like this is good because the yes show fits right on in to all of that because what I have not seen is a Christian talk show even though I feel like this is you know like like a lifestyle slash Christian slash all of that stuff. So networks out there, I'm coming for you. Probably next year I'll be pitching at you. Do your little office. Yes, okay. <laughs> now, what got me excited is a new show. So I decided, let me have Robert C. Mitchell talk to me about this. So please welcome Robert C. Mitchell for our He Say, She Say. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? How are you doing? Hey, what's Rob, up, Coco? I'm liking this little look are you, on you. you know, listen, I thought I'd try a few things, yeah, you know? Yeah, you look like new money over here. Oh, for real? You want, you want some? No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't even like how he said that. Y'all said you want some. Sound like some Everybody wants man. some money. Well, anyway, <laughs> Rob, so I wanted yeah. to talk to you because I know that you're you're a little bit of a singer. Mm. A little bit. Listen. Um, and also Hater. And also, you were part of choir, so mm -hmm. there's a new show coming out called Fix My Choir right, with right. Dietrich Hatton and Michelle Williams. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it? Well, you know, it's interesting because they really haven't got into the season yet. I've seen a few things here and there, mm -hmm. but I'm just wondering what angle they'll go because guys who don't know, like, the culture of choirs, it can be a lot, and it can get a little messy as well as holy. And a lot you know of what I'm saying? Involved. Yes, absolutely. The best singer versus the not-so-great oh, singer. Oh, you know. Did so, you know. really now? <laughs> Well, LaCora, we could have a single you know, right you know, here, right now. Listen, we all know what would happen, LaCora. I see he's afraid. Listen, this what happened I'm last time, about. LaCora? What but happened anyway, last time? You lost. Oh. But anyway, guys, Lies. listen. We all know LaCora will be on the fourth row, and I'll be on the first row singers. Mm -hmm. But anyway, see, that's what I'm talking about, though. With choirs, though, they do things like Ego. that. This a lot of I'm times when about. you see choirs, a lot of times, sometimes they will position the stronger, like the stronger singers will be more to the front. Or, you know, but the point is, sometimes that don't make everybody feel well. So it's interesting to see what angle they're going to take, because there's a lot of things in the culture of singing. I was in a gospel choir. Actually, the fam, you gospel choir that actually recorded with um, Twinkie Clark. We have uh, some, some great things in the anthem. I see a lot of choirs sing, sing these um, songs that we've done. But but interestingly, it's a lot of things that happen behind scenes, guys, that you would never know. So it's going to be interesting. Are We're going to see. Are you with your mind alone? I am. Thank you. I Lord, am. that was a lot, wasn't it, y'all? But we appreciate it, Rob. Thank you so much for giving them your resume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So have you guys seen Fix My Choir? No? no. All right, out there, yeah. we're going to go ahead and show you a little sneak peek. So mm -hmm. take a look. Yes. I can. My choir just needs a fixing. We got work to do. Take my advice. You better not be nice. You better be nice. You sing him wrong already. Like, uh. You will not fix me on no day. Have you been told no before? No. no. This is my first no. <laughs> you, you, you gonna be your face. Don't you know? That's like a Destiny's Child concert. It's, it's all of that. Oh. Y'all like that? Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> All right, now I what do you think? Like, uh, Something uh, like that. I could live without it. What yeah. about you? What say you in the matter? Well, like I said, I want to see. I haven't seen enough to say, but I do know being in a choir. I won't give you my resume, but they can get some some real some real deep issues that you wouldn't expect to come from a Kinda choir. Kind of like that young lady. She was like, "Ain't nobody gonna fix me." Right, exactly. So yeah. I, and I have noticed it's just like, and I could understand where attitudes and emotions come from in a choir because if I am in a choir, mm -hmm. and like you said, they always put the strongest people in the mm -hmm. front, they tend to always use only mm -hmm. those people. So I've been sitting mm -hmm. in a choir for seven years, 17 years, 37 mm -hmm. years, and not once have they asked me, Sister Cora, you want to do a solo? Mm -hmm. Not once. And it's just But shame. I understand why. But if it wasn't, oh. listen, if it wasn't... <laughs> You see? Well, listen. So disrespectful. Well, listen. <laughs>
<laughs> but we're talking about a lot of times you do have other talented people that get overlooked in choirs. Yes. Because sometimes people have their favorites or, you know, the, the pastor's son always yes. lead all this. Just a lot of things. So I'm wondering if they're going to take that angle. We don't know. Let's come, but we can visit this back because it's yeah, a, once because we can see the said, season. Yeah, because they actually said, I end up seeing some interviews of Michelle, mm -hmm. and she said something so great. She said, well, you know, uh, we've met our success in mm -hmm. life. You know, we just wanted to give back. I would have loved being a young kid, having my favorite singer mm -hmm. walk through the door. And I think, to me, I said, yeah, that is kind of cool. You want to mm -hmm. surprise kids and make them because it's a lot of youth choirs, mm -hmm. you know. So I thought that that was pretty nice, yeah, you know. So. Uh, so. Now, one other group that we wanted to discuss uh, is the Braxtons. Yes. Believe it or not, they grew up in a church choir, all singing together. Um, they 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 say they're Christians, mm -hmm. and you know, despite the music that they have that you hear on the radio, the photos, the words you hear. Uh, but like I said before, ego. Mm -hmm. Sometimes ego could get the best of us. And they say that pride comes before a fall. Absolutely. I was looking at a segment That's because I do hurtful. like the show. Mm -hmm. I, I think to, I like to see sisterly love and all that stuff coming together. Mm -hmm. right, right. But then I see that one young lady is getting a lot of success. Yes. You know, first it was Tony. Yep. And now we have Tamar. Tamar, baby, Tamar. And Tamar <laughs> said, <laughs> Tamar, well, she was at a concert mm -hmm. and... I forgot what happened. Oh, her sisters decided to surprise mm -hmm. her because she kept saying, oh, they don't support me, they don't support me. Mm -hmm. So they said, let's go out on stage. Right, right, well, right. they went out on stage. Tamar didn't like it. She threw a bottle at one. She was like, that ain't funny. <laughs> and then at the end of the concert, she decided to just kick them, them out, all guys, out. Everybody. Her sisters. Mama, dad, sisters, everybody had Flesh to go. and blood. Right. And then she has her Tamartians, her followers, her fans, her mm -hmm. supporters, you know, boosting up her head. See, they just jealous of you. That's what it is. You, they jealous and mm -hmm. they're just woo woo woo. And in my mind, I'm thinking, I hope she does not succumb to right. what these people who actually don't know her, don't know her sisters, and believe it. These are mm -hmm. your sisters. At the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. family. You know, right, what do you think in the matter? Because I think the ego is getting in her way. I do, I do, and um, and I've actually had a, the um, honor of watching because now she has her um, follow up, which is um, Tamar and Vince. So I've actually watched some of that, which, oh. yeah, yeah, interestingly, because she, she's still likable to me. But that moment that LaCour is talking about was one that I kind of cringed to myself because Ooh. what you seen was that it was like this big ego. Here's your sisters. They, you say they don't support you. They decided the way that they felt they wanted to show you support, but you didn't like it. It was okay that she didn't like that they surprised her on sh on stage. That was right, okay. We fine. get that. Let's talk but about the it. Afterwards was the problem. She went, cussed them out. Hey, said everything, and you know, and even though she thought that they couldn't hear, but still other people are, he are hearing this, and that's important to know. What pe listen, yes. if they're listening, it's more important that they don't hear versus you hearing, right. because we're a family, we can understand it. But if somebody else is hearing that, they, that's showing disrespect to everything that y'all built. Absolutely. You know, so I think that she. She, she, she has to check that a little bit. And I think she's trying to, because even she tried to make up a little bit, but she didn't make up by saying, I'm sorry, guys. We have to know sometimes how to just say, I'm sorry. Mm, you know? Yeah. I agree. I totally agree with that. You guys let us know what your thoughts are in regards. Join the conversation. Right. Visit yeah, www.theyesshowtv.com mm -hmm. because we would love to hear right. your take on the matter.